Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next craft fair idea. What we're going to make is these zipper pouches that have elastic on them. And they are pencil pouches and you hold them on the front of your book. And you can just add, let me see if I can grab a pencil or something. You can grab your pencils and put it in here and zip it right back up. You can also add a little charm on these if you want to do that as well. Um, but anyway, I thought I would bring this along. I think that I'm going to probably do maybe about 10 of these for my craft fair um, this year in different prints. Try to use up some of my stash. And um, yeah, I think it's super cute. So anyway, let's just get started. I've already cut out my supplies that I will need. And I'm going. you're going to need a piece of fabric for the outside and a piece of fabric for the inside and these fabrics measure seven by eight and a half eight and a half will be the width and seven will be my height okay and then you're going to need two pieces of interfacing this is a pelon um i'm going to show you i'm going to try to show you this without there it is there's my Pellon right there, two-sided bond stabilizer. I buy, like when they have it on sale, I'll buy it, like I'll buy the whole bolt. <laughs> and it's like you end up getting it for like maybe $1.50 a yard. And so you could buy the whole bolt for like 25 bucks and you just have it on hand. So the first thing, oh, and also too, let me just keep going before I get straight away. Um, you're also going to need a zipper. I always use zippers that are too long, and then I just cut them off. And this is what I have in my stash. I have a drawer full of zippers, so I'm going to use my zippers. Then you're going to need a piece of elastic, and that's why I wanted this ribbon elastic that I bought at, at Hobby Lobby. And this is white, shiny, shiny elect, elastic trim. And this is just white. I didn't have like any orange or salmon color, so I thought I would do um, just white will be fine. And um, yeah, that's what you're gonna need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to iron um, a piece of this to each one of my fabrics. You wanna make sure when you're ironing it, there is a like a shiny side that's got glue and a more matte side that doesn't. Make sure you're ironing it to the glue side. So I'm gonna do that for both of my pieces of fabric and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my pieces ironed onto the back. It makes it nice and stiff too. Um, now what you're going to do is you're gonna take, you're gonna determine which fabric is going to be your outer fabric and which will be the inside. So I'm just gonna let the flamingos be on the outside. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your zipper and here's the little pull. You're gonna turn your zipper upside down. And this is why I like to use, I think I'll go this way. Um, I think this is why I like to use a zipper that's too long. Then I don't have to worry about the zipper pull, okay? So you're just gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your zipper with the edge of your fabric. And uh, you can pin it or use some clips or something. Okay, and now you're gonna take your other fabric, which will be my inside fabric, and you're gonna turn it over where pretty sides are together, are together and you're gonna line these up. Line up your edges and your, your sides and make sure everything is lined up just wonderfully. And I'm gonna grab another little clip and put it right here. And then I'm gonna flip these off a sec and I'm gonna get these, get this all moved into place. I like to be able to see the edge of that zipper there. And I know that everything will be good here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take it to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a seam going down the side. Let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, I'm gonna start by lining my presser foot up with the edge of my zipper that's inside where the zipper teeth are, you wanna put your zipper pull where it's like up next to that, uh, where the zipper pull is. And I'm gonna use my down feature and I'm just gonna, oopsie, got on the wrong stitch. Let me move back here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. 
And that's why it's kind of sometimes good to start a little bit off and have a little bit extra zipper. At least that's my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna use my down feature and I'm gonna just sew right along straight. I am using this zipper foot. You don't have to, I just like using it. And I have a little string. I'm gonna leave it, it'll come out. It drives me crazy whenever little threads are up inside there like this. You catch up underneath. Okay, I know I can pull it out. There we go. Okay, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, I'm gonna keep sewing all the way down. Make sure everything is still lined up the best that you can. And you can back stitch at the end if you like. You are gonna sew this in, so if you didn't, and as long as you've got a good stitch in there, it'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna trim off these threads. My my iron, y'all, just like the steam just went up like this and I jumped. I'm like, oh my goodness, what was that? And it was my iron. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it where the, 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 uh, the interfacing is together and I'm gonna take this and I'm going to finger press this down And where I can, I want to get it down as much as I can. Kind of finger press that. Make sure the back is looking good. And now um, what you're going to do is you're going to take, and let me go down here and show okay, you. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take, after you finger pressed it down, what you're going to do is you're going to take this side and you're going to bring it up and line up your sides of your fabric to the sides, see how it's to the sides? And then line up this with the top of your zipper. Then you're gonna take your back piece and also bring it up and line them both up with the edge of the zipper. Okay, I just wanna make sure I'm getting it as straight as I can. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your clips or you're going to pin and you're going to just pin this all the way over just like this. And get a little more. And then my last one right here. Okay, so now it should look like this, okay? Now I'm gonna take it to my machine and I'm gonna sew straight down. Now, I'm just gonna tell you one thing that I did. And I was sewing one of these a few minutes ago and um, I went ahead and I pulled my zipper all the way down and Y'all, when I went and go pulled it, I pulled it where I pulled the whole zipper pull off the end that I had cut off. Don't make the mistake I did. So don't cut your ends yet until you get through this stuff because this is when I went ahead and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna cut it off. And it, it was fine, I cut it off. But uh, when I went to move my zipper pull where I needed to, whoop, right off the end. So make sure you don't pull your zipper pull off the end. Okay, let's get back to the okay. sewing. So got everything lined up. I'm going to go ahead and gently sew straight down the side. And you're catching all the layers. making sure that everything is still sandwiched together. Then I'm gonna sew right off the end. You can back stitch if you want. I think it's okay for at the moment. Okay, so now let me get these threads trimmed off. 
Okay, so it should be looking like this, okay? Yeah, you're probably thinking that looks weird. Okay, if you're new to sewing, yeah, this is, it looks kind of weird, but believe me, it will work out. So I'm gonna take my zipper and I'm gonna bring my zipper pull down. And I could have did this earlier, but um, I decided I wanted to leave mine up there. Now, this is where I, when I went to unzip that other one, I had cut this and whoop, right off the end I went. So don't make the mistake I did like this. I had to start over. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your pouch and you're gonna turn it inside out, or right side out actually. And you're gonna take this and you're going to smooth these down. Make sure the back, I love this plaid right here. Make sure everything is nicely smoothed down. That's one thing about this Pellon. It's almost like using a nice crispy piece of paper in there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a top stitch right along here and right along here, okay? I'll be back. Okay, so I got my top stitch and I've gone ahead, I've got it turned where pretty sides are together and I went ahead and cut off my zipper. This is where you need to be careful. You don't want that zipper pull to pull off of there. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fabrics and line them up where this is in the center, where your zipper is in the center, okay? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stick my piece of elastic and I'm gonna line it up underneath my zipper like this okay and now I'm gonna use my clips I'm gonna hold this down kind of prep kind of finger press that down and now I'm gonna take it to my machine and sew straight across let's go back to the machine okay so I'm over here at my machine I'm gonna take off one of my clips holding my hand here to hold everything in place. I've got my machine right where I want it, where I want to start sewing. And I'm gonna hold everything in place with my hand and remove my clips. And I'm gonna sew straight across. Okay, so now I have, I have this all in place. And I don't have to worry about my elastic or anything. But I'm going to sew over it again because I want I want to have extra seams on here. So I'm going to run it over again. And then I'm going to do a zigzag stitch on the end. This time I'm going to do a little back stitch. And I'm going to go all the way across. You can do a back stitch over the zipper and over where the elastic is. You know, this is where it gets a lot of wear and tear. So I'm going to sew right off the end and get over here. I'm going to do my back stitch again. And then I'm going to sew off the end. Okay. Okay. So I look like this. And it kind of looks like a frazzled mess. So I'm going to give myself a little haircut here. Now, this is where you could take fabric and you could cover the end. Or, you, if you have a serger, you could serge the end. But I don't have a serger. So, I'm going to do a zigzag twice across there. So, I'm going to move my machine over to a zigzag. And I'm just going to do a zigzag right across. It kind of helps it from fraying too much takes a little bit of a place of a serger, okay? And you may ask, why don't you just back, sti back stitch and go right back over it? Because my machine, you have to back stitch and it'll only go three times. And so it just kind of gets, kind of takes a little longer. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do a little back stitch right there. I'm going to just go right across and I get to the other side, a little back stitch there and I think we should be pretty reinforced there. 
Okay, so that's what it should be looking like. Once you're done, you can go back and trim any like loose, crazy, crazy threads. Okay, so now, now we have this side done. Now we need to work on this side, okay? So if it's easier for you to take your elastic that's up inside here and go ahead and do a little basting stitch if you wanna line it up in the center. Um, do a little basting stitch just to hold it in place. You can do that. I'm just gonna make sure. And let me move it back over to my straight stitch. And I'm just gonna kinda base that in place so nothing moves. Okay, and that'll work. See, now I don't have to worry about my elastic moving. You don't have to do that. You can skip over that and just, you know, sew straight over. But um, I'm just going to, I think it's just easier. Now you can just line your zipper up. And you could kind of take your clips. And line them up. Just kind of hold it in place, press down the sides, and now I'm going to just sew this other end. I'm holding it in place. Don't be intimidated by zippers. I tell you, do not, because I was at first and I realized I would. I shouldn't have been afraid of them. Um, yeah, I, I'll be honest, the first time I ever learned how to do a zipper, I learned it from Melanie Ham. Melanie Ham had a, has a great channel. She recently passed away from cancer, unfortunately. And uh, our crafting community is so lost without her because she was such an asset. So, so good at sewing, crocheting, I think anything she touched turned gold but she I watched her videos before I had my channel and that's how I learned to put a zipper in okay so this is what it's looking like okay so I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna go over it I'm gonna do a back stitch again because I just want to reinforce I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna go back stitch over here For my zipper, make sure everything's good reinforced, and I'm going to sew right off the end. Now I'm going to do my zigzag. You don't have to do the zigzag, I just choose to do that, okay? So I'm going to now move it over to my zigzag, and I'm using, of course, Guterman thread, it's polyester thread, and I am doing a two and a half stitch lengths. And this is one of the fastest projects you will do. Okay, I'm going to sew it one more time. And I'm going to run over that again. And right off the end. And there we go. get back over here to the okay table. so here we are now all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little pouch and you're gonna take point take out point out the corners turn this right side out you got your elastic there and I usually, if you have some kind of pointer or something, I just gently use the corner of my scissors. And try to poke out what I can. Kind 
to get them out as nice as you can. They won't be perfect, but I like to try to get them out the best I can. And let me see. It doesn't look too bad. Look at that. Look at that. There's your elastic. I'm going to give it a quick press and then we're going to try it on my book. Okay, so I gave it a good press. It looks real good. Zipper is working just perfectly fine. Oop, we got a little thread right there. Everything looks good. So now all you need is for to add pins and to put it on a book. So now you're just going to hold that in place. Add your pins or your pencils. You can fit quite a few. And there you go. Now I have another one. Isn't it cute, y'all? I love this so much. I really, really, really do. I'm going to push that one over and I'm going to grab this one as well. You can put them next to each other. And there you go. There's both of my zipper pouches for your pencils. These are my elastic zipper pouches for pencils. So anyway, hope you guys like this. This is not, this, this actually is nothing that hasn't been around a while. I mean, I've made these in the past and I've put them in my craft fair. And so I decided, you know what? I haven't made these in a long while. I'm going to do it again. And I think it works out great being able to attach it to your book. Now, if you have a larger book that you're doing these on, add a little bit more elastic. You know, sky's the limit on that. So anyway, that is it. I'm going to get off of here, kind of clean up a little bit. We are in, of course, North Texas and we're under tornado watches tonight. So, um, so anyway, I think until like 11 o'clock, 10 or 11 o'clock. So I'm going to get off of here and go and see what's happening on the news. My husband always kind of keeps up with that. But anyway, I wanted to come in here and bring this to y'all. If you are in North Texas, um, please be safe and um, just kind of keep your eye on the weather and all that and keep your family safe and keep your loved ones close. Um, but anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this so much uh, and um, as much as I love bringing it to you. I really do. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.